morning uh, about oh, half past seven eight o'clock and I'm unloading some bees on my own so I've got a couple of tips for you guys um, how to do it yourself without breaking your back so I used uh, my cap tar lift to get these hives into the back of my Toyota uh, but I didn't have room for the cap tar lift to bring it with me for the unloading so how do I get them down out of the tray uh, without breaking my back so I've got just a normal fold up trailer um, ramp and it's quite smooth so the good thing is uh, once I slide these boxes to the back um, and get them onto the ramp they will slide down almost on their own uh, without any effort and once they're on the ground uh, then I've got my trusty trolley over here, a little portable fold-up one, which I was able to fit in the back of the car. And this one will just move them to where I want them to get them on the, the little bits of wood and line them up nice and neatly with the other ones. So I'm going to see if I can just film how easily it is to get this down the trolley. I didn't bring my little stand for my camera, unfortunately, so... I'll try and do it uh, just with one hand and let you see. Once I get it started, it literally just slides down on its own. So I've got it going now. And literally, once I get it over the hump, I'm actually just putting pressure on it to stop it sliding down too fast. And down she comes. And there she is on the ground. It was that easy without busting my back. And then I just swivel it, pivot it on one corner, down onto the ground, and there she is. And then I just grab my trolley trolley, tip it back and basically we're off. So here's a little tip uh, that I wanted to give you when you're opening up your hives after you've transported them. Now this works just as well uh, in the morning during the daylight uh, as well as at night time and particularly at night time if you're moving them and you might have noticed once you get them to where you want them to be and you open up that front screen, they come pouring out because they tend to be very angry. Um, I've actually found you can calm them down uh, by spraying them with some water or uh, sugar water um, before you take the grill off the front. So I'm going to do that with these girls and I'm just going to, I've got five hives that I moved. If you've got your hive set up, uh, as you normally would do with a slight tilt to the front it doesn't matter that you're going to be spraying them and directing some water straight into the front of the hive because that water will just run out and look most of this water is not going in because it's just running off the grill um, but it just makes them think oh it's raining we'll all just settle down for a minute Get these honky nuts out the way so they've got a clear landing strip at the front. It just settles them down just a little bit so they just don't come out quite so angry.
I'm not the only one that doesn't realise this, but when you've got your gear on, I don't know if you can see me, um, but once you're all kitted up and you suddenly decide, oh, I'd really like to take a photo of that or do a bit of filming, but normally you have to get your gloves off in order to use the touch screen on your mobile phone. Well, I discovered this little tip. All you need is one of these cheap biros. They're inexpensive and they seem to be very popular at the moment. But the thing about this little sucker here is that it's got the little rubber bit just on the tip at the top. And believe it or not, but if you use that on your phone, it's actually sensitive on the pad uh, of your phone. So you can actually uh, unlock your phone, click photo or click uh, video without having to take your gloves off and risk getting stung on your fingers, particularly when you're working the hives and you've got the girls a little bit pissy um, and you really just want to film something. So there you go.